Hello, and thank you for joining the DCYF professional development team for an overview of the nature-based learning competencies, the supplement for early care and education professionals. Together, we'll go over this resource and you will learn more about the purpose of the nature-based learning competencies, and you'll be able to explain how these competencies are being put into practice. Before we get rolling, I want to share some background information with you that will help you understand why this supplement was created. In 2021, DCYF became the first agency in the nation to license outdoor nature-based childcare programs. These programs offer early learning services to children in outdoor natural spaces and teach children a nature-based curriculum. In order to provide safe and high quality learning environments in an outdoor setting, professionals need to have specialized knowledge and skills. A work group was put together to, question, to answer questions like, what kind of play is appropriate outside? What do professionals need to know and be able to do to support children's level of development outdoors? What is risky play and how do you supervise risky play? The work group was part of the outdoor preschool pilot and it brought together experts from research, policy, and practice, including folks from the outdoor and environmental education programs from K-12, outdoor preschool, independent environmental education teacher training institutes, as well as universities and colleges, as well as DCYF professional development staff and, and quality initiative staff. Tribal representatives were also included, especially those who had early learning expertise. And once this work group put together a final draft, this draft was reviewed and approved by the DCYF Indian Policy Early Learning Committee and the Office of Racial Equity and Social Justice. These competencies and other competencies that exist in our system are intended to capture the foundational knowledge, skills, and abilities that are expected of all professionals who care for children in this particular setting. They define what professionals need to know and be able to do, and they serve as a foundation for decisions and practices within our professional development system. They also create a common language for all of us to talk about this body of work. And by having established competencies and expectations for staff, we promote professionalism and legitimize our work to others inside and out of our system. Finally, competencies help us create professional learning opportunities through relationship-based professional development, higher education, and training that are all oriented around the same shared expectations. The nature-based learning competencies on the left is a supplement to the core competencies for early care and education professionals on the right. We expect all professionals, regardless of what setting they are in, to know and be able to use the original core competencies. The nature-based supplement stacks on top of the original and put together, both documents will cover the full range of knowledge, skills, and abilities that are connected to positive child outcomes for early learning. And there are many different types of outdoor programs, a lot of different ways to incorporate outdoor elements into programs. So we kept this in mind as we designed the supplement. There are indicators that are specifically for programs that spend most of their time outdoors. There it is, nature-based programs. And then there are more general indicators that are applicable to other programs that want to integrate nature and natural experiences into their programs. So these would be the nature-oriented programs. Another exciting feature of this supplement is the new subcategory, Promoting Ecological Identity and Nature Connectedness. It can be found in Content Area 2, Curriculum and Learning Environments. I want to take a moment of pause and define ecology. Ecology is the branch of biology that deals with the relations of organisms to one another and to their physical surroundings. So in this subcategory, we're considering the idea that when children develop a sense of belonging and a connection to the natural world, they can deepen their understanding of the relationships within their ecological community. Nature connectedness influences the attitudes and actions of a person towards nature. Through interactions with the natural world, children can physically connect to and form a positive emotional and reciprocal relationship with nature. And in forming an ecological identity, children grow a sense of kinship and connectedness with nature and see themselves as part of nature. So this means that nature is embedded in the system of envi environmental interactions. 
it shapes us and is shaped by human development. So by incorporating the subcategory, we're hoping to deepen children's love and respect for their environment around them. We're also hoping to deepen professionals' love and respect for their environment around them so that together we can all be stewards of the land for the future. I wanna take a moment of pause and read this quote as well. It's from the North American Association of Environmental Education, and they have guidelines for early childhood environmental education programs. Children who respect the environment feel an emotional attachment to the natural world and deeply understand the link between themselves and nature will become environmentally literate citizens. And the task of environmental education for young children is to forge the bond between children and nature. That is really one of the core reasons um, that we are stressing this, this uh, ecological identity and nature connectedness is because we want children and professionals to be able to respect and support the lands in the future. The nature-based competencies for early care and education professionals also includes competencies to honor indigenous sovereignty and supports professionals throughout Washington in fostering relationships with local tribes. There are also indicators that support racial equity and social justice concepts that are specific to nature-centered and nature-based programs. So for example, practices to support professionals to learn about and understand children and families' perspectives and practices related to nature and being outdoors, as well as the environmental concerns of the community at large. So we lay the groundwork for culturally responsive practices in this resource, and we want to encourage programs to adapt and build upon them to provide culturally responsive and culturally affirming experiences that are relevant to the child and family demographics that their programs serve. The nature-based learning competencies really also stress that indigenous people of Washington have thrived as communities of health wealth and in unison with the surrounding land since time immemorial. Today, many indigenous communities struggle from the generational trauma that they have endured as a result of the assimilative tactics of the federal government. These include colonization, genocide, the removal from ancestral lands, boarding schools, and continued oppression of indigenous rights. It's important for non-native citizens to understand and acknowledge this challenging history and its impacts. This history provides nature-based professionals with an empathetic responsibility and opportunity to honor indigenous sovereignty and actively support native peoples as part of their efforts for racial and social justice. Each tribe in Washington is a sovereign nation with a unique history, culture, and system of governance and all of the federally recognized tribes have a government-to-government -government relationship with the state of Washington. Non-native Washington professionals should, should research their local tribes and in making this effort can create a better relationship with their neighbors. So by creating and fostering relationships with tribal communities, non-native professionals can also avoid participating in cultural appropriation or stereotyping and can tailor their practices and curriculum to honor the unique culture, heritage, language, and tribal protocols in a respectful way. The competencies included in this document rely on the acknowledgement of the tribe on whose ancestral lands the program is based and building relationships from that acknowledgement. And by doing so, children can learn the unique history of the indigenous people from where they live and create an even deeper sense of connection with the nature around them. Outdoor learning environments give young people an opportunity to understand that they are part of something bigger. Let's take a look at a perspective on outdoor, on outdoor experiences that is shared by Rethink Outside, a website that captures stories about the importance of increasing access to the, to the outdoor world. It reads, getting outside connects us to ourselves to each other and to the world around us, reminding us that we are part of a much bigger story. Building these connections increases people's quality of life, health, and social well-being, 
which are benefits everyone deserves. We have a shared responsibility to open the doors to all people, regardless of where they live or their background, and ensuring their experiences outdoors are positive and rewarding. The more people who connect in this way with nature, the more our communities are strengthened. This supplement is organized around the same content areas as the original. Because DCYF's branding colors have been updated in the Department of Early Learning, the colors do not match the original document, but the content areas are still divided into subcategories and they are leveled one through five. There are bold indicators in this document for nature-based program indicators, and the general indicators are non-bolded. This document will be a living document and will be periodically revisited based on feedback from users and developments in the field. In the beginning, we talked about how the supplement will be used to inform professional development. Right now, we have used the competencies to design outdoor basics, which is an initial training requirement, similar to child care basics for outdoor licensed programs. There will also be coursework and, de and development of other trainings around the competencies. Outdoor licensed professionals will be responsible for seeking out learning opportunities that are aligned with nature-based learning competencies. And this document can also be used for professional development planning for those who are entering this type of early learning setting. And even as a self-assessment for folks who are already working in this setting, but want to figure out what else they can continue to learn and how they can improve their skills. Relationship-based professionals and trainers also need to have a working knowledge of this resource as they support professionals who are outdoor nature-based. We encourage people who are interested in nature-based programming to review this, these competencies as well, just to get a sense of how they're similar or different from the original document and to get ideas about what the expectations are for professionals in this specific learning environment. There's so much that can be said about the benefits of outdoor learning across all of the different developmental domains. And we can talk at length about the importance of having a reverent and respectful relationship to nature. This isn't the best platform to do that, but we encourage you to explore the resources that are listed at the end of the competencies to learn more. And you can also go to the DCYF website and find information on outdoor nature-based provider qualifications. Look at the resources that are shared there. Take a look at the touchstone standards and the different training requirements for professionals in this setting. We want to thank you so much for tuning in and also invite you to participate in the September webinar, which will continue to build off of this conversation and talk more about staff qualifications for outdoor and nature-based providers. If you have any questions about what you heard, please reach out to training at dcyf.wa.gov for more information. Thank you so much for tuning in and talk to you all soon.